this is what really, this is really, this is what torts them out of shape, boy. This puts them into orbit. <laughs> this is the reason why any edition of an authorized version is better than any Greek manuscript. Oh, how they hate that. Oh, how that <laughs> crimps their style. <laughs> Number one, it's superior to the original because it's tremendous thought. There are no originals. <laughs> Wouldn't you think they'd think of that? <laughs> the idea is saying the original is superior to the King James. You haven't even got them. How are they superior? <laughs> Number two, you couldn't read them if you found them. Suppose God put the originals in my hand tonight. Do you think I'd waste your time tonight drawing you a picture on the originals if I had them? You know what these fellows think? They think there's something magical about the originals. Hey, boy, what could be magical about them except that God breathed them? And if God breathed them, and that's all he breathed, then what you've got is a dead book. What you doing preaching a dead book? Number three, less than 1% of the world will understand what you're saying anyway. Do you know how many people speak Greek? Twice less than 1%. Greek is a dead language. Why would God still be fooling with a dead language? What he's got a live language to fool with? Number four, the originals had no chapter verse markings. The original manuscripts, according to these fellows, of course, I've never seen them. I'm taking their word for this. <laughs> but, I mean, I've got, I've got a copy of Atticanus at home in Sunday Atticus. I've got copies of them. And the letters all run together. It's uh, like you read this in English. See? That's how it's written. I mean, the letters come right together. There's no space between them. Why, the oldest manuscripts, so uh, one is space between the chapters, all the verses, and even the words. Now, that thing, you know what that says? That says, I saw abundance on the table. Or else, I saw a bun dance on the table. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Aren't you glad you have a book where the words are separated, the verses are separated, the chapters are separated? You can tell what you're reading. All right, now I'll tell you something else about it. If you found the originals, how would you know they were the originals? Maybe Peter wrote his first epistle three times before the Lord took one of them and decided it ought to be in the canon. How do you know? Maybe the first time Peter wrote, he made a grammatical error and had to straighten the thing out. You don't know. All right, if you had the originals, they wouldn't be easy to memorize. You say, why? Because Greek is not a musical type of language. Modern Greek is, but to do it, the modern Greek has to pronounce the epsilon and the eta and the iota all as e. I've heard a Greek fellow at a restaurant talking Greek. It doesn't sound like Koine Greek at all. It isn't biblical Greek. It's the epsilon as e, it's the iota as e, it's the eta as e, and it's the ei, the diphthong as e. Because... Latin and Greek are stilted languages. Agapao, phileo. <laughs> Listen, your King James is written, everybody knows how your King James is written. It's written in poetic style. It's rhythmic. That makes it easy to memorize. Well, if you're going to hide his word in your heart, then you might have sinned against him. Hadn't you rather get a Bible that's easy to memorize? Do you know of anybody that's memorized the Greek New, New Testament? Do you know of anybody that memorized an ASV New Testament? They say Jack Van Impe has memorized the New Testament. I don't know whether he has or not, but if he had, I know which one he memorized. And I wouldn't even ask him. I'd just tell him that's it. I wouldn't even check to see if I was telling the truth or not. Because I know what I'm saying. All right. The King James Bible has led at least a hundred times more people to Christ than the original manuscripts ever did. And that's a masterpiece of understatement. If you count all the souls that have been saved for the preaching of Wesley and Whitfield and Moody and Torrey and Finney and Sunday and Dr. DeHaan and Theodore Epps and Bob Jones Sr. and Beach and Bick and John Rollins and all that bunch together, you'd have a mass of people that make the original look like nothing. That isn't all. The originals do not match the order of books in the, in the King James Bible. Now, I haven't got time to go on that 
for you right now. It's time for dinner. We're going to have to have breast near and go. But the order of books in the King James Bible are laid out premillennial. They are not in the Hebrew Old Testament. The canon isn't the same. Finally, truths can be found in A.B. that no Greek or Hebrew scholar can find in any Greek or Hebrew manuscript. You want the proof of that? Just buy some of my stuff and you'll see it. And it isn't because I'm particularly smart or any wisdom or have any insight or anything else. It's just that I believe the text and believing the text will yield truth that you can't get from not believing the text. People, you know what the secret is to getting truth from that Bible? A believing heart and a humble mind. It's not the Greek and the Hebrew. Finally, 